Good afternoon, Mr. Chairperson and members of the committee. Um, my name is Elsa Figueres, and I'm here as not only as a concerned citizen, a woman concerned about my safety, but as an attorney. I'm former um, in-house counsel for Fortune 50, where I had responsibility for liability and safety concerns of our employees. Um, as Representative Artillas said, it's a common sense bill that's meant to just harmonize what's been long-standing and as a staff analysis says it there's been a long-standing history in our country as far as civilization began as so eloquently said by representative Metz at the last hearing that there's a reasonable expectation of privacy in a single-sex facility not to be exposed to individuals of another sex in those facilities representative Artillas has bent over backwards to put in to the amendment a provision that allows for the driver's license process and the State Department process, which is actually a little bit more lax than the driver's license process on page two of the staff analysis, that says that if you're a gender in gender transition, starting hormone treatment, you can get a two-year passport subject to the 10-year passport when you complete it. The big issue here that I would like everybody to focus on is that we need to maintain the objective standard. The issue, the crux is, that the Miami-Dade ordinance and the genesis of the bill is that the Miami-Dade ordinance has changed it to subjective. And we have a smorgasbord, as Representative Artilla says, of different language. And we need to make it uniform, and we need to do that at the state level. Now, another thing that Representative Matt said at the last hearing was that, in other words, the Miami-Dade County ordinance has elevated the interest of a few, i.e., as cited by the opposition, transgender folks over 100,000, which, by the way, they're taken care of. You could wrap up, please. Okay. It elevates the interest of a few over the privacy concerns of the many, and I would ask that you vote yes in support of this amendment and harmonize with current longstanding federal law. Thank you. Thank you so much. Susan.